So today we are testing out how Baldur's Gate 3 runs natively on the Mac. I had previously done a video of Baldur's Gate running through Wine and how it was performing there. We'll be looking at how the native version compares to the translated version later on in the video. But first, we're going to see how it performs on its own. Just a quick note, I also have noticed that some of you are encountering the problem where the game gets stuck in verifying for a very long time. This likely is happening if you are running the game off of an SSD, if you downloaded it and installed it to an SSD. It may take quite a bit of time for the game to activate. If it's taking an extraordinarily long amount of time, please double check your USB cable. If it's a damaged or cable without a high rating, it could take forever. I read somewhere on Reddit that it someone took almost an entire day just to have the game activated. Additionally, also some of these external hard drives may overheat when there's too much read and write activity, which can cause them to throttle. So just keep that in mind if you are running the game on an external drive, there could be a number of issues why your activation is taking forever. Okay, so now that we're in the game, we're just going to run it on the default settings right out of the box. FSR is off. And this is how it performs under the default settings. And you can see them displayed right here. So you can see here, I've got the metal HUD on the upper right showing the FPS. We can see here the game is struggling to even maintain 20 FPS without even doing anything. So it's obvious that these settings are just not going to work. Now we're just going to turn on FSR and balance and see what kind of improvement that does with only that setting. So we can see now with the FSR, the frame rate starts out at about Again, 25 plus, but we do see it jump up into the 30s and 40s, but the game still feels stuttery. It's not smooth and the frame rate is up and down all over the place. But the fact that we can get it up to 40 frames is a definite improvement. And if we zoom in a bit, this is how it looks like close up under FSR in balanced. Not too bad. So I did also notice a bit of screen tearing. Now, because I have a 16 gigabyte MacBook Air, I am going to go ahead and throw in double buffering. This may not be recommended if you are running on a stock Mac with eight gigabytes as it does require a little bit more memory. And I can see here in my metal HUD on the top right that I'm only using half of the allocated RAM that I have. So just around eight gigs. We're also going to set the frame rate cap at 30 since we are exceeding that, but we are getting a bit of stuttery gameplay. Hopefully by capping it at 30, we can use that excess overhead that the game is, is using to push the frames up to 40 to try and get a more consistent frame rate and a smoother experience. And I think we can drop the shadow quality to low as well since we're playing the game quite a bit far out. I don't think we will notice a significant visual degradation from low shadow quality, but it may give us a little bit of more overhead to maximize our performance. So with those adjustments, this is how the game looks and feels. It definitely feels a lot smoother. And we can see the FPS now is more or less staying at around 30 frames without significant changes in the frame rate. At most, it's dropping to 28 frames, which is less than a 10% difference from our target. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It feels good. It plays good. It looks pretty good. And here is a combat section as well, which are known to be a little bit more taxing. And we can see here in this combat sequence that I'm playing absolutely horribly. There is really not any dip in the frame rate. So yeah, so this is Baldur's Gate 3 running on Mac natively through Steam. 
these are the settings that I have used to get the game running at this level with a consistent 30 frames and without too much blurring from FSR. Please do let me know if you have any questions or issues in the comment section below or even better, come and join me on Discord as I know a lot of people are having problems on Reddit so if we can all get together and try and help each other out on the Discord, that would be great. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and if you liked it, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.